Welcome back. Rise and shine. Today we are cooking up a breakfast that you are not going to want to miss. Chef Ken Hall in the kitchen. He is an area chef and is doing a lot more private chefing, doing parties and catering, cooking for families who just don't have time to cook. Good morning. Good to see you. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me back. You betcha. So what's for breakfast? We're having breakfast burritos. Mm, yum. You can only do fried eggs so many times. Yeah. You just, uh, you just can't. And I'm trying to get the kids to eat something more sustainable in the morning before they go to school. So I'm sneaking some beans in mm -hmm. and getting a little, little cheese in there. So they've got something in their belly. So by nine o'clock, they're not hitting the vending machines or you know hitting the snack and out of their bag. So we, we love Mexican food. We love spicy food, and we're just trying to sneak a little bit in there. You know, my daughter loves breakfast burritos. Actually, I mean, she's a little picky about what we put in there. But now, like you say, now she's getting used to putting more things in there. But the nice thing is, she takes the bus most mornings, and you know, it's like you can throw that burrito at her on on the way, you know, and she can eat it on the bus. Absolutely, you know? you just wrap it yep, and go. Yep, easy to eat. So we started out with some bacon. And boy, does this smell good. Just some little pieces of bacon that we're um, cooking till it's a little bit crisp. Right. And then on the onion, I like to just put a little bit of onion in there, not a lot. Mm -hmm. So I always cut across my onion, and then I come back this way so I can get smaller pieces without having to dice the whole thing. And we're going to add that right in there. Mm, that's been better than bacon and onion cooking. And this is kind of more of a method, too. So if you don't like this, you know that we're doing bacon you want to do sausage or you want to do ham or you just want to you know keep oh, vegetarian exactly. there's lots of stuff you can do here absolutely okay oh that onion and bacon and how good does that smell <laughs> yum okay three I'm eggs i'm just gonna do three eggs farm fresh ken they yep. actually have chickens so it doesn't get any fresher than that yep these are from our chickens and then we're just gonna fluff these right in the bowl just take a fork in here and fluff them. Now I'm not going to add any salt. I was going to ask. This. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. And then, do you do water or milk or either in your eggs? I don't do either don't do for either. the burrito because okay. I want it to be a firmer scramble. Okay. Uh, especially if you're going to put it into a wrap and then take it with you on the go, you don't want real soft eggs because okay. then you end up juicing out the bottom. If you were doing just omelets, would you do water or milk or either or scrambled eggs? Um, typically, I do a little milk in mine. Okay. Just to soften it up, the acid from the milk will help them from turning uh, green. Like if they sit in the heat, a right. lot of times you'll go to a brunch right. and the eggs start to yeah, turn yeah. colors. Yeah. It's because there's no acid in it. Okay. And that protein just so oxidizes. A little bit of milk. A little bit of milk. Should so we hold do on. our. Nope. Should One we put this second. in? There? Okay. We're going to um, peel our avocado back. Yum. And we're going to put our avocado in there just to warm it just a little Ooh. bit. In with the bacon and the onion. Just so it's not so much of a contrast. I love avocado. I actually had, I was at a restaurant in Minneapolis and uh, their specialty was avocado egg rolls. And I thought, this is the weirdest thing. It was delicious. <laughs> Just that warming of that avocado a little bit. Wow. Just that little bit. And then I like the, my favorite are the spinach tortillas mm -hmm. just because. Should we throw the eggs in now? Yep, okay. we can go ahead and put the eggs in. Those okay. won't take very long. Yeah, I like that. Um, I was just picking out some tortillas. They have uh, like more flavors of tortillas than you'd know what to do with. All sorts of healthy ones, whole wheat, uh, right. you know, sun-dried tomato. Well, and the fun, the fun thing with that is you can pick the tortilla for the, the flavor of food that sure. you're doing. If you yep. want it spicy, they actually have, I think, a chipotle one yeah. out now, uh -huh. which yeah. I've done those, which are fantastic. Ooh, fun. fun. Fantastic. So we're waiting for these eggs to set up a little bit. Yep, those won't take very long, okay. but then um, this year um, at our church, they always have a harvest table. Mm -hmm. And we got bags and bags and bags of apples and tomatoes and you name it. So my wife, she's the frugal one in the house, not me. I go to the store, I just pick what I want type of thing. She bottled and canned. So we made some salsa Ooh. and we throw some black beans in there. And this is from a, a friend of mine that he shared his recipe. And then, of course, I have to twist and tweak. So we've got one. So I hid the black beans in the salsa. Great so the kids idea. are getting it anyway. So yeah. they don't know it. Yeah. And then we've got some black beans, and we're actually going to scatter those right over the top while that cooks. And now you can just scramble that right up. You know, I, when I was on the Dr. Oz show, they were really strict about the recipes that I made on the show, and they wanted some quick, healthy breakfast recipes. And he swears by black beans. As long as you drain and rinse them, you know, that extra little bit of protein. And it used to be my kids would pick every little bean out of the bowl of chili. And now once you keep putting it in, they, they eat them, they don't, you know, and they like them. So... Exactly. And Black now they've, they've, they've even got some really nice flavors mm -hmm. of beans out there they as do. well. 
So now what I'm going to do sour is cream, I'm going to put the sour shredder cream. Ch shredder cheese. Yep. And this is actually a four cheddar blend, which is kind of neat. So you get a little contrast. We're going to put a little green onion in there. Ooh. And then if you want, you can garnish with a little more scallion. And I'll wait to put the salsa on once the eggs are done. And they're almost done. I don't like to overcook them, I, you know. Nope. They're looking really good. I love, there's lots of little surprises in here with that avocado and then the bacon. Well, and with the bacon, I didn't want to add any salt. Yeah. We're adding salsa to it so you don't need the pepper. So actually, you can keep the sodium down because you're getting it through different things. I think these are ready. Let's, yep. I want to see how you roll them. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to top over the top. Now these hot eggs are going to melt the cheese. Mm. We're just going to put a little bit here in the center. Burritos are fun to do on a Sunday, too, because people can kind of put it on their tortilla what they want. Right. So now what you do is you bring it almost together, and I kind of pinch in the back a little bit, and you hold the front. So you're doing it this way. Oof. So you just you really kind of bring it. Really easy to eat and go. Really easy to eat and go. And then if you want to, you can, when you go to display them, you put your seam down and let them set for a second. And then you go on an angle so when you set them on your plate I'll get you a little ramekin for that salsa or are you just gonna leave it right in, in that and then you can set them up like this and then if you want to you can do the salsa over the top or you can just serve I the like salsa it on the side for dipping on the side Ooh. and there you go there are, oh oop, this my way. gosh there are breakfast burritos that looks fantastic well, thank and you. again more of a method but this is a great thing to get in the habit of doing and if they're quick and easy and then you can you know eat them in the car or on the bus. Have kids can eat them on the bus or at the bus stop. So. Exactly. Ken's going to stick around. What do we do next time? We are doing an oven puffed pancake with Ooh. peaches and cream. Ooh, that sounds fancy. <laughs> Yum. All right, stick around. We'll be right back with more fun, delicious breakfast recipes. And if you want to get a hold of Ken, he is booking up now for lots of fall and holiday parties. Best way for people to find you? Um, would be my email is chefken at new.rr.com. Okay, there you go. Or give us a call at the station. We'll get you his info. But he'd love to cater your holiday party uh, or do even a romantic dinner for two or cook for your family. So stay with us. We'll be back.